what's going on? It's hiphopwire.com. What you got going on right now? Any DVDs? Any stand-ups in the works? Oh, uh, you know, right now, man, I got the uh, 2012 Super Bowl. I'm the new ambassador, Indianapolis 2012 Super Bowl okay. in my hometown. I'll be the first comedian ever to do halftime Super Bowl comedy show. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to work that out. Okay. Do you have any plans for any films coming up? Anything like that? Oh, you know, I got uh, Sparkle. I'm about to film Sparkle, the remake of Sparkle. New film coming out, uh, 1970 remake. I just did a movie with uh, Forrest Whitaker, Anthony Mackie called Vipaka. So I'm trying to step my acting game up. And if you could interview anyone, who would it be? Uh, Obama. Obama. Yeah. And you've been hosting the Hip Hop Awards for a couple years. This is my third year. Can you learn some rapping skills? This is my third year. Well, you know, if I if you catch me rapping, it's strictly for fun. Give us something about A little something off the line. Uh, my name is Mike E. I'm on BET. I got an EBT. I need a GET. <laughs> Hip Hop Wire here with Rick Ross. What's going on, brother? So you got everything going on right now. Tell us what you went to. Tell us about the upcoming album, the singles. I mean, I mean, we got the whole team here, the whole Maybach music team here. We looking for Wale album, Ambition, November 1st. You know, my album, God Forgives, I Don't. You know, that's coming real soon. You know, we just grinding, man. Meek Mill, Stally, Pill, Triple C. Just the whole unit, you know what I mean? Everybody working. And who we going to see on your album coming up? And you know, my, you know, we coming with classics, man. That's how MMG work. We coming with classics. Now, it's, it's tough being a CEO. When you a rapper turned CEO, you got success. You growing with everybody. How has it been working for you? How you have that success, man? I'm a natural born boss, though, man. You know what I'm saying? So it just... It just all boiled down to working hard, you know what I'm saying? I don't really get caught up in the titles. We just work, we grind, you know what I'm saying? And we just look for the results, you know what I mean? And when you're looking for MMG artists, who, what kind of artists you looking for? Really, I look for work ethic first, you know what I'm saying? I respect work ethic more than I do talent. Appreciate it, man. Look what the Whitney City done blew in. We got Twister here with us. What's going on? First and foremost, I heard you on the Miguel Quickie remix. That's a suitable name for a quick rapper. What, what, what was that like for you? Oh, it was fun, man. I'm, I'm glad Miguel asked the big homie to get on that one. And uh, it was fun doing the track, man. I'm glad to see like people like it and uh, they vibe into it. And I can't wait to perform it with them live. And what you working on right now? I'm working on my album tentatively titled The Dark Horse. Be looking for it at the top of the year. And right now I'm pushing one of my artists called Mellow the Gutter Man. He got a new single called Money over here. And that's on my label, Get Money Gang Records, coming hard out of the Midwest. And a little more on a serious point. I know you rep hard for the Windy City. So what do you think right now about the murder rate up there and all the violence that's going on? It's getting crazy, man. It's it's like, it's a shame that more people get killed in the hood than in the war, you know? So I, I think it's a real crazy thing. We try to deal with it. I try to do as much as I can in the city as far as being part of organizations and foundations that help try to keep the youth off the street. And uh, I see my man Rahm Emanuel got police galore rolling around on the streets right now. So I guess we're doing the best we can to try to keep it down. But, you know, we just got to do a you know, better parenting and make sure that we keep the, the kids out of trouble and give them something to do. And with the LEP Bogus Boys coming up, who else are some Chicago artists we should be looking out for? Man, my man Scooter Chose is lighting up the streets. That's an artist from the west side. It's another artist by the name of Showtime. He killing them. He got a hot single that's out there. My man B Hype, he killing them out there. And like I said, LEP is always killing them. It's another guy by the name of Bees that's from the west. No, he from the south side. He been lighting them up real hard, so I like his music. So shot time be getting it in, man. Appreciate it, man. What's going on, man? I know you anticipating the ambition coming out. Tell us about it. Excited, man, you know. Got Ross on there, got me on there, got my man Miguel on there, Neo. You know, uh, I think it's the one, it's a, it's a career changing moment for me. And uh, I put my all into that. A lot of people feeling that Miguel joint that just dropped. Tell me, how you hook up, you call Miguel? How'd that hook up? I've been uh, I've been cool with Miguel for about two, three years now, so he was always ready, ready uh, waiting for the one to actually, you know, put some effort into And I was the one. And I feel like it's really, you know, it reminds me of like, excuse me, miss, uh, uh, um, I need love, one of those kind of passion records that ain't really you know on the corny side it's just real conversational it's something every man and every woman kind of feel you know? and since we see you going at skip on ESPN tell us who you think is a football sleeper for this year my Redskins yeah you think it's the real deal you think Grossman gonna get you through I think we get to the playoffs yeah appreciate it man